What's up, Thralls of Metal? Four scumbags back once again to bring you some shit. Yo. Hey. I'm Rin. I'm Jammin' John. I'm Shredlord. And I am Necrotic Nick. And we're here with uh, Underground Release, the band Bonesaw from Mansfield, Ohio. A little heartland metal for you. Yes. They have hills and a Walmart. A large prison. Reformatory. Ghosts. <laughs> The core of these guys, uh, the vocalist, the guitar player, and the bass player, have played together since the early to mid-90s. Greg Parman on vocals, Jeff Lovely on guitar, Dan Sauter on bass, Kevin Sherman on drums, form Bonesaw currently. They are no-nonsense, meat and potatoes, reminiscent of the early 90s thrash and groove explosion that captivated my heart and... And the hearts of others here and at the hearts this table. Of others, yes. They have a massive local following around the Mansfield, Cleveland area. They play Incarceration many times. That's at Shawshank, if you've seen the movie, the Ohio Reformatory Prison in Mansfield. This is their fifth release overall. This is an EP entitled Derailer. It was recorded by Joe Veers at Sonic Studio in Grove City, Ohio, released February 8th, 2021. So this album opens up with the song Black Sheep, and right away, everything that Ren said here is very true. This is meat and potatoes, groove metal, but I don't know, like it kind of has a lot of nods to other things, but the base of it is definitely groove metal. It actually reminded me a lot of, well, not only stuff that I listened to in high school, but it kind of reminded me of both like death metal bands and thrash metal bands that kind of locked in on that sound in the 90s. So you have elements in here that sound like obituary and sepultura but we're talking about like specifically chaos ad mm -hmm. and world demise so it's a really interesting sound and the production is very 90s s2 this sounds like a lot of stuff that i would have listened to in the 90s like pissing razors or skin lab mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. heavy on the groove big on the riffs and you know black sheep is a great kickoff i think come on is actually where it really comes on big hardcore thrash gallops there's actually some breakdowns in here that remind me a lot of like early metalcore too like mm -hmm. earth crisis uh, die cast byzantine definitely riff driven as hell the end part and come on hold my pbr dude all right that that little triplet chug i'm a sucker for a triplet yep. chug just I mean, give me the triplet yeah, chug you just just do it and i'll think about getting the mosh but ring the bell Ring the bell. <laughs> Ring the goddamn bell! Pull the string! There we go. Pretty much just to remind me of, like, Jungle Rot. Like, you know, that is one of the best examples I can think of of a well-known meat and potatoes metal band that just, they know how to lock onto a riff, dry hump it to death, get the pit spinning, and pretty much make everyone happy and injured at the same time. T-bone and russet potatoes. A little bit of seasoning, too. Little, you gotta season it. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. The guitar production kind of varies a little bit. Sometimes it, it seems almost thin, but I think that's possibly deliberate to, to let the bass cut through it. Dan's bass is smooth and warm and- Silky. Silky. Like Natalie Portman's hair. After a Pantene Pro-V shower. Just like that. And then pour a little bit of beer on it. <laughs> Let a caveman live. It's meat and potatoes again, and it's just, yeah, just bang your damn head. Your neck's gonna be sore, because we're older fellas. It's pit-worthy. The, yeah. the breakdowns are pit-worthy. Chugtown, population, Chug you. Yeah. I liked some of the like almost 90s death metal nods and they're yeah. like I, I picked up on like stuff that you would hear on maybe a slower moment on a DSI album granted there aren't many of those but <laughs> you actually have like some really good chuggy solid hooks mm. and I, I dug that overall and these guys kind of like venture outside of that every now and then the song Rage opens up with the most Sabbathy thing that I've yeah. heard on this entire EP but it doesn't stick to it. It kind of just leads in with that, and then boom, we're back into Groove Town with some really cool thrashy mm -hmm. nods. But oh my god, like as soon as they open up with that, I was like, ooh, is this gonna be like the slower? Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Song? It, it it has a whole different feel from the rest of the album, and yeah, that very Sabbathy tone to it. You think like, okay, here's a chance for something melodic and a little bit doomy, and it doesn't hold on to it long enough. Like it brings it back. Even the even the leads, the leads aren't really all that long, and I figure if you're gonna throw in a lead, you might as well throw in a lead. I did notice that, I believe the leads are a little bit longer on their other releases. You can check out their other releases on Spotify, Reverb Nation, the YouTubes, where you're watching us currently, so check them out. But yeah, uh, the, the leads were just sp sprinkled in in this one. Didn't really tell the tale of uh, 
hey, this is a big ass solo section. It's simply more like riff oriented. Yes. Mm -hmm. The whole mm -hmm. thing they wanted to create some cool riffs, and there's a litany on here, and a lot of different styles. Hypernation, the last track. Mm -hmm. I swear that opening riff sounds like very high on fire ish. But with mm -hmm. some like cool like you know palm muted chugs on there, just kind of remind you like yeah we're still thrash kids. But you know, Matt Pike, yeah, it's he's got a guy. It's got a great stoner vibe until Greg scares you sober <laughs> when he comes in with his bark of a thousand hammers. And then like back to Black Sheep, there's actually some like almost melodic death metal riffs on there. Like there's some stuff on there that kind of reminded me of like a more meat potatoes hypocrisy. So like in terms of like riffs and stuff. They're kind of all over the place, but there is that solid hub of just let's chug it out, mm -hmm. get the groove going, get the pit spinning. Now, I mean, as far as negatives on here, there really aren't many I can complain about. I, I think sometimes the vocal cadences follow the riff too much, mm -hmm. and the guy's vocal delivery is good. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. He's got a very Phil-ish delivery. Yeah. It's raspy. It's intelligible. Sounds you know, like a mixture intention. between Phil and Randy Bly from Lamb of God. Yeah. Yeah. Great mix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah which so is a great mix, yeah. especially for music like this. So. Yeah. Sometimes there are some awkward transitions. There is one in Come On where it kind of bounces back and forth between these two riffs. One one riff is awesome. It's great. It has a solid groove to it. It's got a great hook. And then you have this weird kind of slowdown and this off-time rhythm. And I don't know, for groove metal, you don't want to take yourself out of the groove. And this one kind of took me out of it. And there's a weird, like, screamed spoken word. Yeah, it's kind of. It, it reminds me of, uh, like, some of the parts in Trend Kill where Phil's freaking out. About Warner. About Warner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Every time I go to real... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of an odd transition, but then it goes in that badass triplet chug. So yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? Let's... Yep. But I mean, the entire time I was like, you could have just maybe gotten rid of that part and just got down on the triplet chug and... Hump you know, the triplet chug. Oh, my God. That, that's a pit spinner right Everybody there. hump the triplet chug. But overall, man, I, I dug this. This, yeah. was, this was a fun yeah. lesson. This really kind of took me back. I, I mm -hmm. like that sort of nostalgic feel. Like, this was exactly the sort of thing I would buy in high school, like when I was picking up, like, Victory Record mm -hmm. samplers back in the mm -hmm. 90s. Roadrunner. Yep, yeah, Roadrunner, yeah. too. Yep. I mean, it has all the check marks that I loved as a kid, and you know what? I still love them. So overall, I'm going to give this three and a half stars. It's a pretty solid release. This is my first exposure to the band. I've heard... Ren bring him up quite a few times, and yeah, no, he's right. This is solid, straightforward, meat potatoes, groove metal. Doesn't really mess around very much. It just delivers riffs, hooks, and pit-worthy anthems. That's what I needed. I'm gonna give it a three, what Nick said. <laughs> I hate when you go first. <laughs> I never have anything to fucking say after he goes. Ditto. But I mean, just, like, you know, that's what he said. Yeah, it, it, this reminds me, uh, again, like a mixture between high school and then in like the 2002, 2003 era yeah. when metalcore became popular and like, you know, you had Flame of God and Shadows, Shadows Fall. Fall and Hatebreed and Byzantine. And this sounds like a good mixture of like all that plus, you know, 90s Machine Head and yeah. Pantera and blah. So like, for me, it was a, a, a throwback to not only teenager, but you know, early 20s as, you know, this is the kind of music that got me into heavier music. No slouch on these guys, they write just Again, straightforward, grooving metal songs. Three stars. Good, good listen. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a three and a half. Captain Ridford von Poopy Pants over there and Sugar myself. Bits. <laughs> Sugar bits. <laughs> Captain Ridford von Sugar Bits over there and myself. I'm never calling um, you. Have that. actually <laughs> played shows with these gentlemen, and they are consummate professionals, and they are passionate about what they do, and they execute it at a high level. This EP was put together very well. I was happy to hear that they still stick to their roots and continue to find new ways to do it very well. So three and a half all around. This was a good listen, and this is something to uh, get down in the pit till you know what I'm saying, you dirty little rascal rat <laughs> bastards. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go three and a half as well. Solid songs, solid production. I have played numerous shows with two different bands with these fellas. They are lovely gentlemen. Firm handshakes. All around, which is important. All, that is yep. important. Yep. Except we can't do that anymore because of COVID. That is true. No more shaking hands. COVID elbow. The... You can only shake hands with beef. Ooh, nice Primus reference. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know what I'm jamming later. <laughs> is that a masturbation reference? Might be. It might be. If you're a fan of 90s, early 2000s groove metal, you're not going to find 
crazy polyrhythms and super technical thrash tapping arpeggios things, but you're going to find some kick-ass... Straightforward, straight, no bullshit. No bullshit. None. Bonesaw will kick your head Zero in. Zero bullshit. And, like I say, check them out on Spotify, the Reverb Nation, uh, Apple Music, all the stuff. They got at least three albums on there. It's all good stuff. Well, ladies and germs, that brings us to the end, the finale. So... If you like what you saw here, please hit the like and subscribe button as it helps us out tremendously. Also, you can hit the bell notification in the bottom right hand corner, I believe, that notifies you when we release new content, which we release new content on the daily. Also, please do not forget that at 4,500 subscribers, we are doing another giveaway, a very cool package that Nick has personally assembled himself to give to the lucky person once we hit 4,500. It and could as, be you. It could be you, absolutely. Be you, or you, or you, or you, maybe you, or even you. Hopefully who's, you. Who's that guy hiding over there? It could be you. It could be. Ooh, we see you. Regardless who it is, <laughs> thank you very much for all the love and support. We greatly appreciate it. And it is your continued love of us douchebags that makes this possible. So, on behalf of all the thralls of metal, I am the fuck out of here because my asshole itches and we all know what that means. So, I need to poop. Later.